All right, haves and have not fans, uh, aside from the ending of the episode where Oscar appeared out of nowhere, looking at the preview for next week, where we do kind of pick up where we left off with Oscar, I'd say that the most what the heck is going on moment was definitely where a young lady approaches Hannah outside of her house saying, hey, I'm glad I found you. And, you know, Hannah's like, who are you? And we're all asking the same thing because this is a character who we have never seen. And I don't know if Tyler Perry is trying to make it so all these characters are seeing ghosts now, but I've seen theories ranging from, oh, this is Melissa with the baby. And it's like, no, just look, it's bad enough when you recast Gene's corpse on the Oval, but that was semi understandable. But you clearly got somebody who looks nothing like Gene in regards to complexion. But what is this Melissa after she jumped from the building and had facial reconstruction? This and plus, even if this was Melissa, she was only a couple of months along, so she didn't fall yesterday, but it certainly wasn't eight months either. So I wish I knew. But before going into the theories, go ahead and take a moment to hit like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out when I post content on the channel. And follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Again, um, I have no idea who this is. I mean, perhaps, I mean, at first I thought, wait, is this that reporter that kept coming around to annoy Hannah? I mean, to be honest, this could be one of those ploys where it's like, well, we know Hannah is the mother of Candace and she lost a grandbaby, so let's try to appeal to her emotions by having a complete stranger holding a young baby boy. Remember, the baby's wearing a blue hat uh, to kind of, uh, you know, manipulate her into talking. Hopefully that's not the case because that's just low down and dirty, but that's the media for you. Um, and no, I'm not trying to make a political statement here. I'm just saying in general. But I'm thinking this is possibly one of Benny's exes and this is his son because, you know, he told Rianne, I don't have any children or anything. So this could be a foreshadowing of that. But the thing is, out of all the women he's hooked up with in the show, from Melissa to Veronica to um, Gia, this girl is clearly none of them. And based on the time frame of the series, which is still loopy, it's only been a few months since the first episode so i'm thinking this is somebody benny hooked up with before the show even started and if there's one girl i can even remotely think of this could be remember before the series started before episode one go back to episode one and look at those first few episodes when benny and hannah would talk at the house benny used to live on his own he had his own place but it wasn't far from where his mom lived he came back to live with hannah due to the fact that she had breast cancer and she couldn't afford all the bills and everything so he moved back in to help her this was when benny was actually working and stuff so she mentioned the fact darcy the nice girl from church aka the same actress that played marcy on if loving you is wrong you need to go out and date because that little fast thing you know in the area in the neighborhood who broke your heart she was like the last girl you with you were with you need to move on so this could be that girl because we've never had her name she was only mentioned as the last girl benny was with and broke her heart so i i mean broke his heart so i feel like this could be that girl i mean there have been a few times where benny has flirted with girls but it didn't go anywhere like when he was in the hospital after the hit and run and woke up there was that one girl from high school and you know he begged for her number but we never saw follow-up from it and even if it was her they never really dated or anything not to mention he never even called her on screen so no that's clearly not her not to mention not long after getting out of the hospital he started hooking up with veronica so i'm going to be honest here i think this is either a person from benny's past or this is somebody from you know the news or whatever trying to get hannah to talk or but then again i think landon's strategy was to get the reporter to harass hannah to the point where hannah calls candace and then from there they can trace where candace is located because landon did say that we always have eyes on you but um yeah i pray it is in some media manipulation because that's hannah it looks like there's going to be a drive-by at her house later that night. She don't need this kind of trauma because it will go right back to young baby, drive-by, shootout, the baby got killed, 
Oh Lord, we don't we do not need this. So let me know what you think. Who do you think this young lady is? Whose baby is this? Is this somebody from Benny's past or is this somebody from the media trying to manipulate Hannah? So um that's really all I got. I mean, th this is a big what WTF moment, but I don't have a lot to go off of because we only got a couple episodes left and they're starting to drop these bombshells everywhere and it's like Okay, so what's going to happen next? So with that being said, if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. And with that being said, I'll talk to you in the next video.